weekend the wedding now.
instituted of God since the first man and the first woman walked on earth. Therefore, it is not to be entered in unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and soberly. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined together. Uh, who stands with these two in support of them for this marriage? We do. Fabulous. Let us bow our heads. Father, in your presence, we have come to carry forth the first official ceremony that you began in the Garden of Eden. We have likewise come in this garden seven, and we're asking, Lord, that you would uh, not only be with us, but that you would guide and direct, and that you, in actuality, would be the officiant at this service today. May all go according to your name's glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> is making its own music. Amen? Amen? Here's what there is to know about music in the universe. Everything in the universe makes music to the rhythm that God places in that thing, whatever it is. Everything is in harmony with God's will. Now, only us, actually, as human beings on the planet, along with, you know, some other beings that we won't talk about right now, we are the only ones who are out of harmony with God's will. But today, at this service, we have come, those of us who have gathered, including Thing to 
recognize is that in Lovell's name, there is love. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's part of his name. And so it is written by Brother Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 7. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And so today, as uh, Lovell and Symphony pledge themselves to each other, we are praying that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will bless them, will help them uh, in such a way that their love may be pure, their vows may be true, and through Jesus Christ, their Lord and their Savior, they will be able to walk this life together, hand in hand, and indeed will be in the eternal kingdom forever with Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. I will seek their intent at this time before they do their vows. Lovell. Lovell and Symphony, you have come together this day so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of this group of family and friends and that he might minister his word uh, and his spirit uh, to you and through you. So in the presence of this gathering, I ask you to state your intentions. Have you both come here freely and without reservations to give yourselves to each other in marriage? If so, you may answer by saying, I have. I have. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And having heard their intentions to be married today, husband and wife, I ask your close attention to the vows they are now about to say to one another.
In our friendship and in our courtship, God held the pen the entire time. And I imagine throughout the years, the excitement of the angels as the author of our love has delicately, artfully, and masterfully brought us to this moment. So before I give myself to you, I give myself to God again. I thank our Heavenly Father for this testimony thus far. And before I make promises to God and to you, allow me to claim God's promises for us. First, that what God had put together, no one and nothing can put asunder. Second, that whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And the same goes for whatsoever we loose in the name of Jesus. Third, that where two or three are gathered together in his name, he is present. Making our relationship a unique type of sanctuary, a sacred place of which you are true. And in this vein of God's will for you and me, I vow by the grace of God to you before these clouds of witnesses seen and unseen that I will continually study and apply how to best love you and meet your help. I vow to continually strive to overcome sin and self for the sake of our love and that of our future family. I vow to keep this sanctuary of our relationship holy and sacred, letting absolutely no one into our most holy place except the Lord God and the angelic hosts thereof. In any event where I must absolutely choose between you and God, I promise to choose God while praying fervently for you and ministering to you as the Spirit leads me to according to his will. Amen. If I fall short of these promises, I ask that you will forgive me, and I promise by the grace of the Almighty God to never give up on this, on us and our future family. I submit this relationship unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. By the indwelling power of the Spirit of God, I vow all these things to you before these clouds of witnesses, seen and unseen. Until the day of the great consummation of our eternal hopes, embodied in the physical second advent of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For the past half a decade, our Heavenly Father has been training you for when you will be high priest of this special sanctuary, training you for when you will enter into the most holy place, the garden and close. Now the time has finally come. Enter in, my love into the secret place of the Lord that has prepared, into my garden, unseal the fountain and feed among the lilies. You and only you are welcome here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been doing this for about 30 years, and those vows that Symphony just did, I have never heard something like that before in my life. Wow. What more is there for me to say? <laughs> That's the symphony, right? <laughs> Symphonic, he says. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in so much as Lavelle and the symphony have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, having given and pledged their faith each to the other and having declared the same, 
uh, by the sharing of vows one with the other in your presence. I, by the authority vested in me by the state of New York and by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, do now pronounce them husband and wife. on September 13th, 2020. just a man and a woman being married together, but it is indeed a covenant of relationship between God and a man and a woman. And as you are always present between them, may the space be uh, so that every word that transpires between them, every deed that goes between them, will reflect you and will pass through you so that everything might be done in love and everything might be forgiven that needs to be forgiven. And as you continue to minister to and through them, that uh, indeed your blessings will flow. And uh, it, if, if it is your will, Lord, for them to have uh, little ones, we pray for physical health and emotional stability. We pray for spiritual grounding. We pray, Lord, for abundance of resources and financial means. We, we pray, Lord, that uh, our social connectedness, all of our relationships might... Uh, reflect you and indeed bring glory and honor into this uh, sacred space that is now created and so we bless this couple and we bless this community of love that surrounds them that we might say and do whatever is necessary to support them and to keep them walking in the way that they should go so thank you again for bringing us all together here to witness the magic of love, the power of your blessing. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we will have a couple pieces of ritual. Um, the foot washing and uh, also the signing of the documents. But we will go first to the foot washing. All right, we'll do the signing first.
Bring the chair. The chair? I need the two witnesses, please.
symbol of our love and service to God and to you. Well, my love. Hi. <laughs> I, Symphony. Do I say solos or small now? I, I don't know. Um, I guess small now. Um, I Symphony small. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. I wash your feet as a symbol of my love and service to God and to you. <laughs> you pour a father's throne, we pour our art in prayer, our fears and hopes our comforts and our cares. Bless me the time that finds our hearts in Christian share each other's woes, our common burdens bear, and love for each other, the sympathizing tear. Blessed be the time that finds our hearts in Christian love. Blessed be 
you for a father's throne. We pour our heart in prayer. Our fears and our hopes are one, our comforts and our cares. Blessed be the time that binds our hearts in Christian love. Blessed be the time that binds our hearts in Christian Look at the sunshine coming out. Amen. The timing of the sunshine is what it's all about. The, the sun is shining up on us and particularly up on Lovell and Symphony as a kiss from heaven. You know what's about to happen, right? Um, so many of us, you know, we smile at the kiss um we might even think it's funny sometimes especially depending on how it's done um are you trying to get them in the center of the come come, come over this way a little and you can even come towards me a little bit as well this way there we go um but the kiss is a serious part of the ceremony according to law and uh, I was reminded just this um, past week, a few days ago, I attended an adoption service um, where a, a young woman, well, I would say maybe about 40 years old, she's adopting a little girl. And the judge, um, you know, was going through the ceremony and then the judge made the de declaration that this little girl is now the daughter of this woman and that she has all of the rights and privilege as if she were a natural born daughter. And I, I just marveled at the power of word and the power of law. And that's what we're experiencing here today, the power of word and the power of law. So I have declared the word that they are husband and wife already at 3.04 p.m. September 13, 2020. Amen. But according to the law, this marriage has to be consummated for it actually to be a marriage. And so what's about to happen is a pledge, a promise to you and me that the consummation will be fulfilled so we take them at their word but we need to actually see it symbolically well, amen. 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 amen so at this time i invite mr lovell c small to raise the <laughs> veil that's the word to raise the veil on his beloved wife symphony and to demonstrate the promise before us that he would fulfill the law as a man of law please kiss your wife take your time now take your time <laughs> 
I'll close my eyes. <laughs> 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 Amen, amen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, my joy, my honor to present to you for the very first time anywhere on earth, Mr. and Mrs. Lovell and Symphony Small. Guys, just go over the bill a little bit. Let me look up at them. Like this, yeah. Alright, yeah. Everybody look over here. Lover boy, look over here, lover boy. Level, you, you think you could throw a kiss there, Level? Oh, okay. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> yes.
the live stream again but we will be ending the live stream now thank you